Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Star Trek's Frontiers. I forgot to set my timer. Very important. You know, you know about that timer. You know about that timer. There we go. Done. All right, we're in a fight. It's gonna be easy. We got my craft launching. Um, I could use forward thrusters. Forward thrusters is fine. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Let's go, let's go. We've been discussing Phoenix Point. People will say, maybe wait. Ooh, firing orders I don't like. Please don't hit me. You didn't hit me. Thank you, kind sir. Uh, now I can shoot you a bit. Um, I think I'm just going to reduce your accuracy. That I, The bombardment actually seems like kind of the situation I'm interested in. Cyber Knights is the only game I'm going to try to get in the Alpha 4, and you know why. Yeah, I'm going to... I might try and sneak my way in. I'm going to use my my influencer leverage. <laughs> Be like, yo, Tracer Bros, what, what's up? What's up, man? What's up, guys, I guess? What's up, guys? You know you know about the hookup. We'll see. We'll see. Tracer Brothers, I'm talking to you. You just retweeted me. Hook a brother up with some cyber knights. I'm trying. I never played the original, so yeah, there's that. But that's fine, right? Nobody is upset by that. We're gonna we're gonna close that gap a little bit right now. Um, I don't think I really want to like do more damage to you. Nah. So want to do less crowdfunding? You're gonna make an exception for cyber knights. I'm probably gonna crowdfund it too. Honestly, this they're just. I have the utmost of respect for the Tracer Brothers, and I want to just give them, give them the support that they need uh, to make their games. I want more games. I just want, I just want them to just make more stuff. And all of you should too, if you're watching this on Twitch, on YouTube, give them money. It just makes sense. Don't be an asshole, God. <laughs> Some people, right? Right? I'm getting a little carried away here. Oh, okay. No more shooting because they're gonna. These guys are just gonna. Now we just gotta. Now we just gotta board. Your loyalty was bought with the original game. That loyalty's been reinforced again and again and again. This is my original game. I never played Star Traders or any any of their other games before this one. Um, and right away, I mean, I think I watched Nucrium do a little introduction on it, maybe over a year ago. And I saw it. I saw this game. I was like, first of all, this game looks awesome. Second of all, it is underserved on YouTube. And I made like a strategic decision here. Um, it's underserved on YouTube. And I, I can be that guy to fill this niche for a game that I know is going to blow up. I know it is going to be popular. I didn't know anything about the Tracer Brothers at the time. I was like, I know... I know this game is going to be big, and I could use that. I could use the Trades of Others to, to my own benefit. Um, and I did, and it worked out amazingly. I mean, I made a bunch of videos for them, and then I think the game was released. When the game was released, I had about 10 times the views that I normally... Oh, like, like 50 times on that day. I had 50 times the views that I had. It, like, it forever... I mean, it definitely altered the, the course of this channel. Um, definitely made it, like, my growth curve went up exponentially from that. Um, so, hey, I thank, thank you, Tracer Brothers. And, uh, you know, I, I think I also, I mean, I hope that I've, I've brought, I mean, I know, I know I've brought some people to the game. And that also makes me happy because I, I respect them and I respect the game. They are fantastic. The games are fantastic. Nuff said. Nuff said. Buy the game. Give them money. That's, that's what I have to say about things. If you're here, if you're watching, anywhere, just throw them the money. I like that you can see our, our, fancy, our fancy weapon here. It does look really nice. Um, hamstring slice you. Uh, okay, just full auto him down. Bop. With the crit, maybe you can kill him. 
um with the no crit probably but it's fine just 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 get the kill I'll be honest, I'm trying to bust my ass as much as possible for the community because I can't buy the games yet. So I'm trying to pull my weight as much as possible. Oh, man. You're, I mean, you're a fixture. You're a fixture, Sparta, on the Discord. So you are. You definitely, you definitely do your part. It's definitely made impression. Along with Zachtronics on my watch when next game release list. I don't... Who is Zachtronics? Why, why do I kind of know the name? Yeah, Phoenix Point, I mean, like somebody else said, down the line. I mean I didn't play I didn't play XCOM at release either. Um And honestly, like the thing is, buying a full priced game for me is uh not something that I really can afford to do so much right now. My wife might be getting a job very soon. This will this will change things a lot. I am the the sole income earner and I make pretty good money. I mean, I'm not we're not like uh, We're not poor, but we're broke, you know <laughs> But if my wife makes money when she gets a job when she is oh, oh guys, this is so cool. So she 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 um, Applied for a job at a newspaper not working as a journalist, but uh, in in like the kind of media publication uh, house for this newspaper. It's a very big newspaper here in Germany. Um, had a great interview and she wanted to um, she wanted to make an impression. Like, you know, have a thank you note. And a friend suggested, oh, you should write a letter. And we took that and we kind of like, yeah, a letter's a great idea. Like, why don't we do this? And we kind of like played around with it before. We went, oh, we could do it in like um, we can use the font, like typewriter font. We'll print it out and we'll hand deliver it. So we go the extra mile there. Um, and then like we were talking with more people and uh, actually the family that we were babysitting this, this kid for came home and we discussed this a little bit. And what we ended up coming up with was to make like a, a newspaper-ish kind of cutout. So I scanned the cover of the newspaper that they gave to her as like a thank you gift. The, the edition that they gave to her when, when she left, they gave her like a little tote bag. I scanned the cover. I scanned the photo that's on her um, application, her CV, because you just do that in Germany. You put your photo on the CV always. Uh, I took this photo. I put it on this scanned, uh, scanned document. And um, then we added in a QR code to a little kind of ghetto-ish uh, website that, uh, that we made. Not ghetto, but it's basically just like a letter, right? It's a very simple document. Printed it on newspaper paper and then gave it. So because her job would be multimedia, print and uh, online stuff and all this. So we've got like this print uh, newspaper kind of thing. With a lot of like, you know, creativity and, and originality and, you know, being something that's memorable. And then they have to scan it, which then takes them to the website, which is just, you know, again, just a document basically, but it's formatted like a letter where then they can read her thank you letter. So we're super proud of ourselves for this one um, and really hoping that it's going to make this kind of good impression. Um... And I, I can't see it not, right? Like, I, that, that's why we kind of like, is it too much? Maybe it's too much. But then I was like, you know, if I was the HR person here or the, the boss, whoever, it's actually just going to the boss. Yeah, seriously, I, I, after after I put a cut in this, um, I'll, uh, my wife doesn't want me to share the name of the newspaper yet. But uh, so I'll like Photoshop out maybe the image, uh, the name, and the, the QR code, because that has our home address on it as well. <laughs> um, and then I can show you this, like, thing that we made. And I was really, you know, it's funny because I made it. I, I didn't, I used the, I edited this thing together using the skills that I've got that I learned from the YouTube channel from making YouTube thumbnails. I mean, it's very, like, rudimentary, like, paint style editing stuff not you know definitely not like super impressive but i was i mean it's i've never done anything really like this and um like i just whipped it up as we were discussing it they came up with the idea and they were talking and i'm like 
I think I can do that. And I put it together. And there it was. Uh, what do we got here? So hopefully, yeah, this is all better. I think the weapon components, I would rather have... The weapon components, these are a little bit easier to sell. No, they're not. They're, it's all it's all super hard to sell. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think I'm going to take any of it. We'll just take the fuel. We'll destroy you. Uh, we'll salvage any of this that we need to. How do we get, we get some money from that? Did we, did we, did we get money? How come I'm not seeing it? Okay, I'm assuming we got some money from that salvage. Yes, definitely going above and beyond. We have enough fuel now that we can actually get out of here. So let's go. Barely. Even with that, barely. I mean, we do reduce the fuel cost. That's true. Um, might there be somewhere here? Trade law five. Trade law five. Trade law five. Hold up. Population, population, population. Damn! So easy! Why is the trade law five here? Why are both of these trade law five? Is there a. Nope. Dude. That's what I'm talking What? Sell all, make that sweet money. A little bit of extra profit, some rep, which we just really don't care about. That went really well. Yeah, I'll go, I'll, I'll like, uh, after, after this YouTube video is done, um, I'll go and I'll put up, put up the mock-up that we did. I'll, uh, I'll share that real quick. Of course, with a little teensy-winsy bit of editing there. <laughs> um, right, what are we doing? Okay, uh, I will just check for the spy. We do want, we do want to keep that up now. We can just keep on going. We are going to get a wing tech. Oh, I got levels. I, I should I should do a thing with these levels. Friendly Kadar here. Let's go ahead. Refuel for your terrible prices. And we'll level up. You still have not. You are the one who's waiting? No. We're just leveling up the mechanic. I mean, I'm leveling up the mechanic. I do like the mechanic talents, but maybe the wing tech has some pretty good talents too. So we'll do that. Um, you, my friend, you're waiting. No, you're not. Level that up. The bodyguard is waiting for level five on the swordsman. Uh, crew dog, level six, yeah. Um, I guess we'll just talk in the hall, talk in the hall. You guys are both waiting. It's fine. And we can go. A lot of people hate me. It's Kadar Pirate. You're going to want to fight. Okay. I didn't check. I should always check. One of these days, we're not going to outclass everybody. We'll go with the forward thrusters. It's actually really good. I should probably use it more than perfected approach. Sharp steering, yeah, that's expected. This, this stupid chat program I have, it just told me, hey, G. Brorn has joined Man the Maker. Like, this guy has been here, I mean, maybe he left, I don't know, but I feel like he's been here for quite some time. <laughs> Why are you telling me now that they have joined? This is something I'm really looking forward to pretty soon. When I have my vacation time, I got two weeks off, starting on Friday. I got Friday off, too. Because we're having a Christmas party, and we going to get... If it's anything like last year... Okay, la don't tell my boss this. Don't. Last year, I went to the Christmas party. It was a Wednesday. It was a Thursday or something. Again, I went to the Christmas party. Um, we partied until like midnight in the office with everyone everyone was pretty drunk maybe even one or two o'clock maybe midnight or one um then we went to a different party in the same building because we saw some people 
Uh, we stayed there until like two or three. Then maybe two or three of us went to the Reeperbahn, which is like the red light district, the bar district. We went there, we drank, we danced until seven in the morning when I went back to work from the bar. This year, I took off on Friday. Because <laughs> that was awful, man. Oh my god. I was asleep in my chair. I was the first one in the office because, of course, everyone else got drunk too. Nobody went. Uh, most people just weren't even, wasn't even working that day or working from home. Working from home. And for some fucking reason, I could have stayed home, but I didn't. I went in. And I fell asleep in my chair for two hours until the owner of the company came in. We're a small company. Until the owner of the company came in. Uh, luckily I woke up when he opened the door, but I'm like, he's <laughs> like, what are you doing here? I'm like, I was, if I went home, I would have fallen asleep. So I came to work. So that way I could work. And then I stayed, I stayed until, until two in the afternoon. And then I was like, I'm fucking sick. I gotta go home. And I went home. Um, so yeah, I took off on Friday <laughs> to, to avoid, to avoid this scenario. Um, Yeah. Not gonna do that again. Might stay out all night. Uh, we do do that. My wife and I often, when whenever we like, when we're like, we're going out tonight. It's the German way. I mean, they just stay out freaking all night. That's just what you do here. Uh, orchestrated salvage. Don't need to do any. We'll do the do that. Yeah, you shouldn't have fought me, man. You shouldn't have fought me. I'll take your money. I mean, I'll take the money from your corpses at least. Another two? I don't. I really don't know where I even am. Okay, we're here. Um, I could pick up some power jet. No, I'm. I'm full of. No, I'm not. I sold all my stuff. Give me your money. Yeah, we go ridiculous. And I'm putting this on the internet. And you know, like I say a lot of stuff on the internet that, like, I mean, I'm not that worried about. But I, you know, some people probably shouldn't hear some of these stories. Um, I think my boss would be very amused if he somehow found this one out i think he would be very 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 amused uh yeah eight, eight the eight of ace maneuvers seems nice um so i'm not really that worried about it but um i'm banking on like you know nobody in my nobody really important in my life or like if my wife starts like actually gets a job in diplomacy this stuff is buried. People would really have to try to find stuff. And I don't feel like I say things that are like that terrible, right? You know? But uh, I'm banking on like the somewhat things that maybe I shouldn't, uh, you know, announce to, to everyone. <laughs> Again, my wife always says, you lack discretion. And here I am having a internet chat show, basically. It's probably fine. Uh... We want these? Yeah. No. No. No, no, no. Because that we got to go south where we're going. I'm not too keen on going that far out of my way. Am I? Yeah, sure. It's so easy. What am I talking about? Uh, go. Give me the things. You're going to wake up in a bathtub without your kidneys. If you go on the rape bond, it's a risk. <laughs> it's a risk. So I mean, I you know, I go with, I go with my wife. So at least either maybe that's not good. Maybe the if if we go together, then we both wake up without kidneys. Whereas if only one of us goes, then the other one can give the kidneys, and it's fine. Check out the screenshot. Okay. Beep boop. Beep boop. He's playing Cyber Knight Flashpoint. Is that what you're showing off here? That's pretty... I, I've seen it before, I think. I am a bit jealous. Of course, I'm not just developing a game, so it does make sense. Power gens. Give me those P-Gens. And uh, I think we'll go get the, the, the rest of the P-Gens, too. Just over here. It's just such good money, and it's so easy. You might be a pain in my ass. I'm just going to skip off the void. Burned a lot of fuel to escape, but it's fine. 
It's fine. I don't want to mess. I don't want to fight them. All right, we're trying to we're trying to be friends with you guys. Um, power generators. Capital ship component. Well, we'll buy the one. Sure. Fuel, heal, repair, pay the wages. I should probably be spying a little bit because Intel records are super nice. Kickstarter February 2020. I guess we know who's the more fun out of the brothers. <laughs> that that is that is amusing. Damn, I need to get fuel here too. Uh, because you guys also hate me. I got, I got a couple of these dead zones. It's not great. Maybe I can spy my way out. I don't want to lose fuel. It was a pirate trap. Was it? Oh, it's Altamesa. I'll just take your fuel. If you're going to be a dick and make me fight you, I'll just take your fuel. Give me the Aegis pattern. Give me the Aegis pattern. We're closing. Done. Yeah, kicks out of February 2020. Eh, he wants people to know. You know, I get that. I get that. Oh, there's the timer. And we did just start another fight. What do you know? Um, and I need the fuel, so it's going to be a longer one. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here for the yub tubs. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Next time, we're just going to keep making that sweet cash, getting that sweet rep, getting those sweet items, and just wrecking face and uh, moving towards the, you know, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Until next time, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.